very mindful that obviously patients and their families are having to take on board a lot of information all at once um, and sometimes broaching the financial side of things you know can be seem a little bit untimely but actually it is really essential that people um, are able to access any financial entitlements without delay. Previously, um, nurses have been actively involved in ensuring that patients are, are getting what they're entitled to, but it's a huge professional minefield, and, um, and I believe our patients and their families should have expert professionals offering them this advice. I'd certainly um, urge patients and their families to contact the Macmillan um, uh, financial advisors um, at the earliest opportunity. Our social workers would help with some benefits, but actually when Melvin came into post, we realised that they were, they were missing things. Mm. We, we found one gentleman who the social worker had assessed was missing £71 pound a week. Um, I, my partner, or my husband, Rob, um, passed away in November last year from cancer. Um, he was diagnosed in 2011. Um, as a you know, surprise as it is to everybody, um, and a shock, and as a, you know, sudden life change mm. uh, as well. Um, and from the from the onset of, of the diagnosis, um, we had so much support um, from the Macmillan unit, um, right you know, right through to the CAB side of things. Um, who enabled us to um, sort our finances out because my husband wasn't able to work anymore. It just enabled us to get that sorted out to then, you know, get on with the rest of our lives, mm -hmm. and which is it can be a limited time. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to be able to do that, you know. I'm through. Um, Eileen Ford, who was a um, who was a sister, she's um, she come up to me and said, you know, what are you getting in all the rest of it? And um, I just said, you know, like, what do you mean? She said, well, you can get funding and little bits and this that and the other, but it can help. Got myself a little job in March and was diagnosed with cancer at the end of March. Um, I continued to work until July, all through my treatment, and then my nice employer sacked me for having cancer. So I wouldn't have had the first clue where to start. I'd have thought 74 quid was all I was going to get, um, and I wouldn't have known where to chase people yet. And she's been really, really brilliant with it, to be honest. You know, she's really, really pushed it. Uh, I come in contact with the Citizens Voice Bureau for my wife when she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. We met the advisor uh, and then sort of went through uh, our situation really and then they went through it in great detail because obviously like, you haven't got a clue yourself, uh, the paperwork is a lot and uh, they help you through that quagmire. By this summer this project will be four years old and by this summer, we hope to have secured over £4 million worth of welfare benefits for our clients. Our project has helped 1,300 people in South Somerset with welfare benefit advice since the project began in September 2010. Every year since then, we have helped more people. But I, I think that the service is very vital for um, cancer patients and their family and lots of patients are coming back to us and they are very, very grateful for the help they received. I think the Macmillan service is so very important because we are helping people with some of their very basic needs, um, making sure they've got enough money, making sure they can get to hospital appointments and things like that at a time when everything else is difficult for them. So we just are there to make the things that can be easy, easy, and that's why it's so important. At the end of the day, you know, when there's help out there like Macmillan's to help someone through, you know, their times while they're alive, it is a godsend, you know, because there's no one else out there. 
the stuff that Macmillan do generally is invaluable and particularly these guys it would be a shame it should be expanded as a service rather than you know they shouldn't have to fight for the funding should they for goodness sake <laughs>